All right, so today is window installation day. Have you guys installed a window before? Yes. Kevin has? I have not, but I've always wanted to. All right, well, you're going to learn today. The first thing we're going to talk about is the window itself. In this, this particular window, we have three layers of glass so that there's two cavities here, and they'll get filled with argon and krypton gas, which is an inert gas that is a little thicker than air, so it's got a little bit more heat resistance to it. So that's what's going to give us our high performance to get to that net zero. So then when we get to the window itself, this particular window is a double hung window and it's actually three separate components. We have the, the two sashes and then we have the frame. And because everything has to move up and down, there's a lot of movement in this window. So before it's installed, you can see how much we can move this window out of rack. And that becomes very important when we do the installation. If we're out of square and that window goes up and down, it's going to bind. You might have some air gaps. We're going to create a diagonal measurement, which is how we're going to check it for square. So we're basically just going to hook from one end to the other, and you get a number of 83 and an 8. So then we'll do the same on the other side. So that's exactly the same. So that window is square. Now when you have a lot of the same size windows to put in in a day, it's nice to create a little jig so that way we can use this instead of measuring each side. We just put this in and you know the window's square. And we can check it just by reversing it. And that should fit right in, which it does. Okay? So that's how we tell the window's square going forward and we only need one piece instead of having to measure each one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our opening. Our window sill is flat, right? We knew that from when we framed it. But one of the things we want to do, and I learned this from Tom Silva, is we're going to add a piece of clapboard. Now you can see the bevel on the clapboard is thicker on this side and thinner on this side. So we're going to put the thicker part on the inside. All right, so we're just going to nail this clapboard in. Okay, so now we've got to waterproof the windowsill. And the way we've been doing this for years is that we cut self-adhered tape that are going to go on the outside corners like this. Then we're going to put another piece in the middle, working our way out. It's going to come up the sides. And then we'll cut a little slice in the corner, and that's going to wrap. All right, so this is basically the way we've been doing it for about 10 years now. And the only problem with it is that there is a cut here. So there is a little area where water could get in. So now we have a product that enables us to do it with one piece. And that way we don't have to make that cut. So we're going to line up our center line here and we're going to follow the edge of the clapboard again. Tuck that under Mary. Okay. Now line me up with my edge of my clapboard there. Okay, I just use my square to get that corner set nice and tight. Now here's where the magic happens. So we have to work it out slowly, but basically this tape will stretch right around this corner. and create a flat transition right around the corner. The same thing on this side. Stretch it all the way out to the corner. Good, thank you. All right, so look at that. Now we don't have that cut there, so that's a really a waterproof pan right there. Okay, so we're ready to put the window in. Garrett's gonna apply a bead of sealant all the way around the perimeter of the window so that this nailing flange sits into that sealant. So now we're just going to center it in the hole and just put my fingertips in there. That's good right there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to level our windowsill in place. But before we do that, we're going to shim this window up a tiny bit. And that way if water were to get in there, we're going to give it a path to escape. If that window is down tight, 
the window actually will stop the. So we're going to pick this up just a little bit and put a couple of composite shims in. And now we're going to check it for level. And you guys did a great job framing because that is perfect. Now that we're level, we're going to put a nail in the bottom corners. And now we're going to check it for square. And that's good right there. So Garrett, give me one up high. Yeah. So that side's good. Now we're going to reverse it. And this should be the exact same thing, which it is. All right, so now we can nail the entire flange off. The manufacturer recommends two inch roofing nails, six to eight inches on center. And by the looks of that, it's about every other hole. Okay, so now our window's installed. You can see this gap and it's slightly different from the bottom to the top. So we want to close that gap so that that reveal is consistent all the way. So we're going to do that. We're going to shim these two points here. And Kevin, you can drive that shim pack in. All right, so I'm just going to put a tack in that just to keep that shim to hold it in place. And now we're going to do the other side. It's pretty good. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the sashes back out because we've got to screw through the jam into the framing. Okay. All right, nice job. We've got to cut these shims off, and then we got 30 more to go. All right. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.